So I'm gonna start with the Dorn's Ring versus Maokai. So um, I just turned on my YouTube recording too. Um, I've been playing for real. Well, I'm doing a Crit Teemo, guys. Crit Teemo is also a fun build. Um, Crit Teemo doesn't really give you any like it's it's not it's not a tanky. I, well, I don't like it, but it's very enjoyable though. It's very enjoyable. I'm gonna go the ZZ rot with this. Or hold on a sec. Do I actually need magic resistance? Yes, I do. So they got. Double AP and double AD. Okay, so I'll just go with the ZZ Rod. ZZ Rod is not bad. Don't really need a QSS that much. I'll probably go to grab the Mercury Treads for the Maokai. Uh, let's see. So Cannon's got the Teleport. We got the Lee Scene. Okay, so just like your question, sir. Uh, that's a really good question, by the way, Mr. SLY101S. Yes, Maokai, like, it's very frustrating. Why? Because no matter how much you deny him, he is always better than you in team fight. Not just that, he sets up the very easy kills. As long as he snares someone, flash snares someone, then that, that's basically a kill if they have a follow-up, right? But you have to realize this. You need to outplay it. You need to know when he's gonna do such thing. And when you know that, you can start outplaying him. And I'll show you how to do it. How to do it in this game. So I just list for the D scene. Maokai usually starts with the E or Q. He this guy started with the Q. Oh, by the way, against the Maokai, you wanna check your wraith because some Maokai takes their E and then they sap your uh, wraith. I mean, as in birds, that recent, that 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 thing, they sap that three times in the around the one minute thirty seconds, and then when the birds pop, you know, three of these small birds just dies. That's what Maokai can do. So you wanna make sure that Maokai is not doing that. But this game, I didn't do it. So, well, in your games, do it. Because if he takes those three birds, then he will be ahead in EXP advantage. Plus, the uh, your own jungler gets fucked up. So I poke him. Just, you know. Do not give him chance to auto attack the minion. If it's risky, like you don't know where their jungler is at, then yeah, you can let him farm, but if you know where their jungler is, I know where their jungler is at. Their jungler started from the top side. Their jungler is the Graves. He is now on the bottom side taking his red buff, right? Obviously. Because look at where my Lee Sin jungler is at. He's also on the bottom side, starting from the top side. He now should be taking his blue buff, I think. So I have a safe, but since I cannot make sure that Heat Graves is actually doing that, that's why I ward it. Sometimes Graves does like to gank the top lane as a level 3. So I'm safe. So Graves now shouldn't have blue buff. He probably should holding a red buff. Auto Q. Uh, okay, back out. Auto. I'm back out. See, see these minions. The two range minions just hit me. If you back out right after you auto him, then you don't get hit by the enemy minions too much. And the main reason that I recommend the flat armor so Teemo is because of the minions. The minions early game hits you really hard. The champion themselves don't hit you that hard, but minions do. Minions are amazingly OP. Okay, he's just pushing. Let him push. He wants the base. Oops, 
why the fuck did turret aggro that? Oh, I didn't level up. Damn it. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Okay, he's probably gonna come back to top lane with the Doran's Ring or something. Doran's Ring or Ruby Crystal, depending on how the uh, Maokai is rushing. In my opinion, I if I was Maokai, then I've gotten a one Doran's Ring. Oh, he did not base. Well, when the Maokai doesn't base, you have to expect that there can be graves in the jump, in the bush. There can be graves in that bush, or there can be graves in that bush. Am I gonna face check? No. So just safely farm here. Now I'm level 6. Now Maokai kinda backed out from the that bush, which means Graves probably not in that bush. And even if Graves comes top right now, I know that he's not gonna have holding a red buff. It's all about reading where enemy jungler is at. Uh, against the Maokai or tanky champions like, you know, tanky champion with the CC. Yes, it is important to deny them, but it's not just that. You have to read where their jungler is at. Now, Maokai doesn't have much of a mana left. He really wants to base. Guess what? This is the time that you have to push really hard. It's okay to miss the CS. Just push it so hard that you also can base. Maokai is not basing, then I'm not gonna base either. Up, Lee Sin's taking that. Um, what did I say? Mercury Treads and uh, oh yeah, Mallet. If you have a leftover money, you always want to buy a one pink cord. it right there. Why do I want to place the pink core at the tribush? Because the champions like a graves or most of the junglers can jump through the baron pit area. So from here to up there and then they come up there. Rek'Sai, for, for, for in case Rek'Sai just caves through up there. So I want to um, order the tribush. He's gonna hit by the shroom and this is where I punish him. Auto, 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 Q and then back out. And we'll place that shroom again. Right here. And I don't know where Graves is at. He probably at the red buff, I think, right? Because uh, um, Lee Sin just took his blue, and then our blue is also up, which means the Graves' red buff is probably up. So I'm gonna ping this. Hey, Graves might be there, right? Which means, gets what? If Graves are at the bottom, and this is my lane. Alright, so let's harass him. Special is Kalo Maokai so he doesn't get poked too much. Oops. That was a mistake. Let's use a pod. So Graves entering into our um, blue jungle and then he is probably gonna die. Yeah. Looks like their jungler doesn't know what to do. He's not reading what where my where our jungler might be at. Like I know like where Graves might be at, and he's exactly right there, right? 
But then that Graves doesn't really care where my jungler might be at. Okay, I see this guy. expected that one and it was my fault that I did not expect it if I expected it that we could have killed a grace because you know I didn't have to get in the range for graves to kill me not good enough to be perfect we'll, we'll get to be perfect next time so at level 9 you always want to change your yellow trinket to a blue trinket and I still buy the pink ward even though I place the pink ward there because it might be useful sometimes. If it's not useful, I can always sell it. Let's uh, use our passive here. I don't know if Malkai knows about this. Okay, he doesn't. Because he just used a snare. sooner okay so my blue will be up in 10 seconds let's just go into my blue so graves I don't know what happened to him Maokai might be heading here There he is. Oh my god, thank you Soraka. <laughs> Uh, blinded him, that's all. I got you, Lee Jump on me. Alright, never mind. Yeah, I actually thought that I had it all by myself, the graves. <laughs> but Sorak, I had to help. So it's like, like I said, once again, just reading where their jungler might be at and then set it up and kill him. Do I have enough? I do. 1000? Right. I still haven't bought a potion. I need to, but I guess I'll skip it this game. So Graves took his red. Our jungler. 
I mean our dragon will be up in 1 minute 30 seconds. Now after you get a mallet, the, the lane phase is pretty much over. Even if he has a visage, it doesn't matter. Closer than I thought. Thanks, ma'am. I wonder. He placed the pink for here. I wonder if I can beat him with this HP. Half HP. Oh, I got the dragon buff, right? Why am I getting some heals here? This thing heals me? Really? Wait, what? Oh, the red buff heals me! What the fuck? Yeah, I'm full HP, sir. Cause, I, cause of red buff. What the? F when did they change it? What? Oh, red buff heals you out of the champ. Oh, is there like a new buff in this patch? That's so cool. Which allowed Lee Sin to solo kill the Azrael. There we go. Okay, well, anyways, going uh, crit team, like I said. What is that? Also, blue gives you 15% extra AP. Yeah, I know, I know about that one. But I didn't know the red kills you. I thought I had like a, some kind of dragon buff or something. Well, now I do. Oh shit, Drake. But I only had the informal Drake at that time. He has a spirit message. You're probably not gonna kill him. That guy. Wait, wait. You don't wanna dive. Yo, you don't wanna dive. You're not gonna kill him, bro. Unless leasing comes. And that uh, can happen. Okay. Alright, good job. You're welcome. Oh, he's still about to take my blue off. Not gonna happen, sir. Got this listen. Wait. What? When did Graves get here? I didn't see that. Whatever. I set that up, boys. I set that up. I I I just missed the uh, where Graves went. I wasn't watching clearly.
Ah, uh, that's cool. I got bottom. When should you make a cocky play? I'm doing that. I've started doing that. Well, from that death, you saw me dying from three people. When every lane, when cannon has 14 stacks, you can start doing that. It's gotta be the cannon though. It cannot be Soraka, it cannot be Zyra. It's gotta be the cannon. It's gotta be the cannon that has a 14 stacks. Then you can start playing hockey. What's going on there? Let me go! Please! <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Soraka. You're not gonna kill our Soraka! Dang, so that's how we get down a four. Jeez.